Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQ channel. In this video we are going to see about like uh, API testing report. So in previous videos I have shown report which is from the command prompt or uh, some simple report or mini pass or mini fail something like that. But in this video we are going to see how to run whole collection API collection we have seen before but that whole collection report uh, in HTML view. Even that HTML is not just a simple HTML like each request, what are the request point, what are the request parameter, response para, response body, what we got it, how much time it took. So everything will come in HTML format like whole summary also. For example, if you are running uh, two modules inside the collection, if you are running two, three folders, each folder wise how many fail, how many pass, everything will get to know. So how we are going to generate that report, uh, we are going to see in this video. So, uh, if you are not seeing any of my API testing video, please check my previous uh, videos in the same playlist. I am just taking, uh, I have a collection, Postman collection. So, I am going to take a link to run it from. So, I will just update the link, copy to clipboard. So, first of all, if you want to run this, you sh there should be new man, should be enabled. For example, new man minus p. So Newman is installed 4.4.0. If Newman is not installed, I think you have to install from here. So npm install minus g Newman. So if npm command should, like if you want to enable the npm command, you have to install the Node.js. So just check my previous video, you will get to know how to run Newman test. So once you run the Newman installation command you can run the new man command new man run then the collection url we can run okay so what i will do new man run the collection url which i copied from the postman collection just i'm running it here so what will happen here it will just show you how many test iteration request that's it i think if you want to send it to someone else or for your manager or you want to send it to colleagues or team you cannot you have to copy it it looks weird so if you want to generate some html report there is a option actually so there is two option one is normal html report which will give you In the same postman uh, gitlab postman github you can you can see html report also yeah new man html report i can give this url in the description no worries so you have to install npm install minus g new man reporter so here is the command so once you uh, once you install it after after the collection URL, you just have to add minus R HTML. So already I have added before, right? So I will run the same command space minus R HTML. So I already have installed this module. So I'm directly running it. So you guys have to install this, then you have to run. It is, it will create one folder called new man and uh, today 457 just open this so i have got total one iteration three request three test script and a session is passed so each what is the status code what is the url everything will get it but still i want to i want to show in a, a colorful report what i have to do so there is an option for html extra there's a model called html extra for that you need to Install, like if you want to install HTML extra npm install minus g new man reporter HTML extra. So once you install that the same way how you have added HTML tag you have to add HTML extra. So I will just take this and go to command prompt new man run instead of HTML I will add HTML extra. It will run and it won't show any lock because it will create write everything in the HTML file itself. Okay, open the same 
so it will create a file name should like file name will be your collection name okay just double click on this you can see such a awesome report total iteration total assertions everything so what is the collection name total time how much it took how many how much data it's received average response time okay and if you go to total request you can see what are like there are three requests that re request response body everything you can see it here okay if anything failed you can see in failed report and skipped report okay there is an option to change the title and a lot of thing you can do with this collection sorry with this report for example if you want to change the title i think uh, you have to pass this tag just go here after this title so api test report i'm just running it again to show the title so it's created again api test report is it came okay so this is how we can show the report the same html we can uh, send it to the uh, client as well or team to directly attach and send it to them they have to download and they can see it also even if you want to run in the jenkin and if you want to send this uh, report to the team it will be good actually instead of sending a, a normal this black and white report or command prompt i think this will be better right okay guys thanks for watching if you have any doubt or if you are facing any issue please let